So today I'm going to talk about a book that everybody else has already read and I am pretty much the last one. Divergent by Veronica Roth. For the few of you that have not read this book yet, I'm not going to actually take the time to tell you about the plot because a, Goodreads can do a better description than I can, and B, so many people everywhere that are part of this community have already read it and already know all about it, and have probably already read the second one and are eagerly anticipating the third. So I think it would just sort of be redundant for me to say anything more. So while I found the plot to be very intriguing, I was very engrossed in the characters, I thought they were very well done, I didn't want to really put it down, it was a story that really held your attention and I appreciated that. I just spent the entire first half comparing it to The Hunger Games and how they were very similar. And I really couldn't get over that for the rest of the book. I, I raised an eyebrow about it for a while. I think it really became clear to me that they were very different when I read um, The Author's Knows at the End, where the author talks about fear therapy and how the use of fear therapy really gave her the idea for the book and the factions and um, the world that this is set in. Additionally, what great YA dystopian novel wouldn't have a bit of revolution inside, but perhaps this is just from my experience reading the Ender series, but the military political revolutionary aspect of this, and yeah, I understand that it's why it felt really watered down. Like I said, perhaps I'm just making too heavy of a comparison, but it just felt like it was, it was glazed over, just touched upon and said, oh, there's gonna be a revolution, and then there wasn't any detail about it. It felt like it showed up too quickly and too fortunately. Things just kept happening that were fortuitous, and there was no real backstory on how stuff like that came to be. So that irked me a little bit. We all know what a fan I am of the well-written teenage or child character, so I, of course, have to comment on those too. I thought that uh, the teenagers were accurately portrayed. Like, that's, that's how they talk. That's a legitimate thing. But uh, the dialogue was occasionally, though, appropriately young. Um, there's really no great way to write a kid and then read it as someone who's 20 and not think, oh, I never would have said that. So in the end, I know a lot of people really love this book, but uh, I give Divergent a three and a half out of five stars. I'm definitely looking forward to reading the second one, uh, although I hear that it is not quite as, uh, as good or intriguing or something, or takes a, takes a story in a different direction, something like that. But I will be reading the next one for sure. I'll probably borrow it from Bex when she gets back to the United States. So those are my thoughts on Divergent. Uh, I do highly recommend that if you're into the YA dystopia thing that's going on right now, uh, you should pick this up. It's quite captivating. I think I read it in about three days, if that tells you anything at all. And for those of you that are going to ask, this is my slightly crooked smile, unlit cigarette, Augustus Waters t-shirt from dftba.com. Uh, it's pretty great. I like it too. So I hope you're having lovely weeks and lovely lives, and I will see you around the corner very soon. Bye!